Welcome to a very brief and unexpected edition of NCIX Tech Tips. Uh, today we will be fixing a bent pin on a CPU. So if I could get the cameraman to have a look at this Phenom 2 720 that I dropped and bent a pin on. Uh, you can see the broken one is right in here. Can you see that cameraman? It's pretty hard to see. Let me twist this around so that you can get a better look at it. So the broken one is right there. Uh, it's totally bent in. So we're going to use a pin. to. We actually tightened the socket down on top of it. So there's a good chance this is completely non-recoverable. So stay tuned and we'll talk about it more. Okay, so you can see here we're trying to lift up the pin from the very base. Okay, you never want to move it too much at a time because then you're, you can end up breaking it off. Now we're lucky this one didn't break off already to be perfectly honest. There we go. Okay, so we got it lifted up from the bottom, but the pin is still very bent. And the best way of straightening that out is actually a, uh, a graphite uh, mechanical pencil. And then you can, you can use the open end of the pencil and then you can straighten up the pin with that. But we don't have that, so we're going to try and use a couple pins to do it. Okay, so you can see there, that's the pin. It's bent about 90 degrees, but there are actually still things we can try. First of all, we can try the chip in the board and see if it posts, because sometimes you've just knocked off a ground pin or a reserved pin for some, for some future use, and there's actually no function to it. So we're gonna try that, and then we'll be back in a sec. So we did a quick test, and uh, that pin was essential. As you can see, the computer no longer boots. But wait, there's more. Stay tuned. So the next step is to take the pin or a very, very small piece of metal that will otherwise fit in the socket and bend it straight. So we are going to use a pair of pliers to get that 90 degree bend out of our CPU pin. And then we are going to insert the pin into the hole in the socket where it should have gone and then we will place the CPU over top of it, trying to make it so that the pin makes contact with the pad on the bottom of the CPU where it was attached before. Totally beat the crap out of this thing. Okay, so now that we've got our pin somewhat straight, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we put it in the, in the hole in the socket that corresponds to where it came out of, and then we're going to, if I could just uh, get this lined up here a little bit better. So we're lining up the, uh, the triangle here, the triangle on the CPU, and then we're going to find where it came out of. So we count one, two, three, four, five down from this way, and that is where we are going to put our broken pin. <laughs> See, this is the lengths you go to you know, when you're poor and you don't get free hardware to recover a piece of dead hardware. And you know what? It may still work, actually. This may work. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but it may work. Okay. Here goes. Let's see if we got it. Holy <laughs> There you have it folks. We have recovered the dead Phenom 2 720. Oh man, so sorry, it's a total mess here because I didn't think this was gonna work. Um, okay, let's get into the BIOS and system information. There it is. AMD Phenom 2 X3 720 Black Edition processor with a broken pin stuffed into the socket. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.